Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the Arkenstone server. We are outside Bahur and we are in Southern Ithilien and we have a quest to go complete. We have a quest, Disruption at Harlank, Disrupt the Forces Gathered at Harlank. We did uh, the one over here at Lan Methan in the last episode and uh, it gave us like five quests to do or something along those lines. So. Basically, uh, I can only assume it's going to be roughly the same amount of quests uh, for us this time. We're going to have to make our way over there, which might seem a bit more difficult than the last one. Uh, we hopefully can just go directly ahead as the crow flies sort of thing. But we do have our hot gift of the day and of the week, so we'll uh, use this time to get those. So, let's have a quick little peek. What are we going to get? We are going to get a rare Matham Hunter's armor. Uh, which means we now have, I think, two available to us, and we're going to have to get rid of some stuff in our inventory for the next one. We'll get rid of this Eolingus scroll case, this jade gemstone, and then we'll quickly go see what our gold gift is for the day. It is going to be a term of defense. <laughs> okay. That's a really weird gold uh, one, but I guess it's a common, so that's why it's not too great. Uh, there is a little camp sort of looking place no maybe just a pathway we're gonna make our way around probably aggro everything we can see at this rate let's move ourselves off our war steed and hope we can sort ourselves out upon entering how like you take notes of the ways you could just drop the harrodrum so we've got four quests actually to do i guess five if you count the quest uh the extra bit uh from this one so obviously the the First quest we had, Disruption at Harlank, is complete these four, and also it has added Destroy the Supplies. So we need to destroy six supplies, kill five half trolls. We need to not die straight away. Uh, collect sashes from the Haradrim, which I think is just going to be a case of killing them, and enter the center structure at Harlank. So, oh, it's actually one of those things where we physically have to pick up off the enemy's corpse. Okay, that's going to be fine. Anything else you're going to give me? No, just part of the deed. So, there's three captains we need to take care of. As well as just generally. Um, we've got the supplies and then killing the regular old devoted and such. Just to get the sashes. And uh, I think it should be relatively easy for us to do, as long as we don't get into a situation where there's like five different marksmen shooting at us, then I think we're good. Um, because that's how we died last time, and we don't want to die this time. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth putting on some food at the moment. I think we should be fine for the moment. Um, take care of you, you can give us the supplies, and then we got the corpse over there, we can kill some more of the devoted. There's a sorcerer there, which is part of nothing, actually. Though, I don't know why I decided it would be a good idea to, uh... Shoot them. The annoying thing about being a blue line... Is, without just running out of range, which sometimes isn't possible... It's very, very difficult to actually, uh... Not... Well, when you've misclicked, it's very difficult to sort of fix it. Please don't die. I might actually eat some food. Uh, let's go eat some food, um, and find that critted stuff. Where is it? Here. We'll finish that afterwards, just to give us that extra little boost. We needed to come over here anyway for the supplies, so I mean it works out in the end. But six of these in total shouldn't be too difficult. There's these. Is there any supplies nearby? It doesn't look like it, so I probably can get away without killing those guys. Um... Just because I don't really want to go against the sorcerers. The sorcerers are the, the things that I'm not really going to bother. Um, sorcerers are the ones that are a bit of a pain. Right. So how many how many have we done so far? Sashes. Five. So we need to kill five more enemies in total. This will be seven. We need to... Are you going to give me any? No, you're not going to give me any sashes, so... We've at least got to kill eight more enemies, five of which being half trolls. But hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially with our food situation. I think we should survive pretty easily. 
Oh, I don't actually need to pick anything off you, do I? And then we just need to go to the supplies. We will obviously have to kill more than just the two remaining, or three remaining enemies for the sashes, because we're going to need to be able to get into, uh, well, we need to kill the captains, but we also need to uh, get to the supplies, which is going to be close to enemies, which means we're going to aggro them. So it's just going to be, oh, we got a traveler's bound, uh, steel bound loot box. That is actually kind of nice. I, I think I've been more lucky with these new loot boxes than the old ones. Um, I don't know if that is true, if I am, I, like obviously those loot boxes were around for longer, so I had more chances, so that's why I feel like in the shortish time they've been available, I've uh, I've gotten quite a few. There we are. Right. Take you out. You should be our final one for the sashes. So we don't have to worry about looting them at the very least, which is good. Um, any captains? No. Is it going to show where the captains are? Sort of, but kind of not. How many of these have we destroyed? This is our fourth. So we need two more. It's a half troll. Let's take care of you. What are you doing? Oh, and another one, which luckily the first one didn't even actually hit us. I don't think so. We don't really have to worry about uh, going straight into the next one, except the fact that Barrage was on its cooldown, which is a little bit annoying, but something you learn to live with. Okay, three out of five of those done. We need two more. Um, supplies, we need two more captains, so if you're, oh, that was a really bad idea, um, actually it kind of works in our favour, we've got two supplies, one captain, one troll, which means we'll have one troll left, one captain left, and all you need to do is just run around and kite these guys and we should be fine, I'm hoping, <laughs> if not we might uh, struggle a teeny bit. Right, put Barbed Arrow on you, which slows you down. I'm surprised I was actually outrunning him without Barbed Arrow being put on him, but... It is what it is. Okay, cool. So this should complete... kind of complete this quest, except from having to complete the other quests to do it. Uh, then we got a backpack with hopefully a decent item in it at least. Not just a heritage rune that we can't pick up. Uh, not a huge deal. Some Anorian for, uh, parchments for when we get to Scholar will be nice. And there's one more captain. Annoyingly, he's next to a sorcerer. And a marksman. I'm hoping maybe we can just aggro him without doing the sorcerer and only the marksman. Maybe. And then we just need to find this center area. The only annoying thing about not picking up everything from the backpacks is they're not going to respawn. Um, which is a teeny bit annoying. Whoa, oh, no, I thought I was aggroing. Let's pick up this wooden chest. Right. We need to kill one more captain who is here, which I'm hoping we can at the... Uh, the thing is, I, I'm pretty sure if I attack him, I'm going to aggro like three of them. Um, let's put down a trap and then try that. And then we just need to find the center structure. Maybe, I was about to say, maybe I'll be lucky and only aggro the marksman. And then... Just finish you off. Oh, 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 yep. Don't accidentally aggro him. Finish that one off. Then we need to enter the middle structure. Now how do we do that is the question. Is it through here for these two guys? I swear that's like where we entered from, but... Eh, we'll do it. Two of these guys are easier than like three that we're not 
like trying to aggro. At least we're, we're attacking first. Yeah. Do we have to actually enter it? Okay. Fair enough. Let's do it. Howard and looters sift through the rubble looking for any treasures in these forgotten vaults. Oh, now we have more stuff to do. We need to collect ranger supplies and defeat some looters. Okay, there is one, at least one half troll running around. Or walking around, patrolling. Uh, which we will need to either just stay away from, which is completely possible because we don't actually have to kill it. Uh, or take out... At the very least, need to be careful. Uh, we have four looters to kill. Ten ranger supplies, which seem to be very, very um, common around here. There seems to be a lot of them, so that's good. And these looters don't seem to be too much of a, a problem for us. Except when they do that. Thank you. I probably can get away without killing you, because I'm going to have to kill at least two more to get the supplies, but at least if I've killed you, you can't surprise me by attacking me later. I don't know if that's one, the same um, half troll, or if that's a different one, like there's two on a cycle, or if it's, I think it's just one walking all around, which actually may mean there's only like, no, there's two. Okay. I'm going to barbed arrow you and bring you this way. Because otherwise I'm going to run into the other one. Now at least if I've killed one, I only have one more to think about. Except there's a few more enemies down here, so... Uh, not quite. Okay, okay. I did aggro him. I thought it was going to be they go around. Um in a cycle, not back and forth. Or maybe they do, and I'm... No, okay, that red dot is the guy down there. Okay. So I'll take you out, pick up those supplies, run down, kill a few more looters. I thought for a moment there was only, like, the four looters on their own, and the rest of the supplies would just be down here, like, not being picked up like they hadn't got there yet. But it's fine, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's one, two, three, four, I can see those quite easily. Um... I'm surprised they wouldn't just put it where you have to kill eight looters, since it seemingly requires you to go after at least eight. Oh my god, there's actually a lot more than I thought there were. Right, well, we, we, can, we can do two at a time. We just have to be very careful of the half troll, which I think if we sort of stay to the edges we should be safe. Um, it's best for us to go to for these three, I think. And then just sort of stay in the corner with you, hoping that being just this close doesn't aggro. And then when he goes around, we'll pick up three supplies, run back out, and be done. Unless it requires us to do something else. But yeah, there's like four here, we only need three, we should be fine. See, I'm being sneaky. Okay, let's run. Try not aggro that looter. And get out of here. And then we just gotta go back to Thorindol. Back at Barhurin. Which we're gonna have to be probably getting our steed. Or probably a regular steed, honestly, because I need to get out of here. Actually, I might just do return, um, just do Desperate Flight. Honestly, I'm not going to use that, it, like, otherwise. It's got an hour cooldown, or a 30 minute cooldown, actually. Um, because I think my legendary item possibly has the cooldown for it turned off. Mm, yeah, so minus 10 Desperate Flight cooldown. So it's actually, like, I think... 29 minutes, 50 seconds, which isn't a huge deal, but you can actually increase that. I'm pretty sure I don't think I've actually put any points into it. Um, we can check quickly. Uh, yeah, Desperate Flight cooldown. 
Seven points. We haven't put anything into it. We did take off 49 seconds off our press onwards. So that's down to 45 seconds. Was it? Yeah, we took 45 off it. It used to be one minute, one and a half minutes. Now it's 45 seconds. But um, that all works out. I'm not going to use that otherwise. So might as well use it there. I am going to quickly just get rid of something in our inventory. Because I want to get this Traveler's Bound loot box. Uh, even if I just send it off, I don't want to have the possibility of losing it. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to use Desperate Flight otherwise. Might as well use it there. Uh, you know, it's a skill. We might as well use it. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, I mean, even return to campsite is going to take us to Minas Ariel. I actually don't know where I have my campsite set to. Um, obviously, I know the name. I just can't quite remember where it was. I would have thought it would be the place in the Lone Lands. Maybe we'll check. Can I go back that far? Um, Eridor, Lone Lands. Yeah, it's literally... <laughs> <laughs> in the Lone Lands because of, the, of those quests which took you back and forth constantly. Anyway, we should probably update that. Right. Thurindol. Let's finish your quests. Let's finish that. Will not surrender us and finish again. your quest. And then finish your final costs. quest which gives us the, the pocket item. Not uh, us which again. we mentioned there's like two for each like two for light two for heavy sort of thing so that's might vitality fate that's also might vitality fate but you've got tactical mitigation on one and critical rating on the other and the agility vitality fate is critical rating and tactical mitigation uh i think we're not really going to use it because the agility is a lot lower but the vitality is decently high and i guess we get fate but also we get 540 six vitality or morale which is a lot more than the increased difference in vi uh, vitality here so we'll we'll pick it up but we won't actually use it which is uh, pretty common for most things here that was a might vitality sword wasn't it yes it wasn't too great for us i mean if it was might and uh not might <laughs> vitality and agility maybe but okay you want me to enter a ruin and you want me to travel to Thuntam. Let's go quickly check where they are, but I don't think I'll be doing those today, honestly. Okay, so you want me to head up to there, and you want me to head up to there. Which one's which? So that's to uh, Thuntam, and that's the ruins. Let's have a quick, brief look. The ruins can be finished. You should travel to Thuntam. No, Farmer is still there. That's fine. And then the ruins of Br uh, Brangobel are located northeast of Bahur, and you should enter Bahur, uh, Brangobel, where uh, Thorindal has asked you to bury some supplies for a forward base. Okay, we won't do those today, we'll probably do those in the next episode, but it is slowly getting us closer and closer to Osgiliath, so um, we're slowly getting there, and uh, getting quite a lot of XP on the way, I mean 73, 72, 72, 72k, 72 they're, you know, it's at least 200, 220 almost K um, XP just from three quests plus the extra two we did you know it's quite a quite a chunk of XP it's just obviously uh, you know when we're this high level already we're like eight levels above these quests I think yeah level 100 because um, I think at the time that might have been the level cap uh, but yeah we're, we're there's quite a big gap in between and uh, we're not getting as much XP as if we were on level basically so um, it's gonna take a while but we're getting making good headway uh, VIP bonus XP is just a a percentage or like it's like a third of your remaining XP or something like that if you get um, Oh no, it's like I can't remember how it works out, but it, it makes it at higher levels when there's more XP it looks like more of a um, Like you're doing less if you're not filling it up, but uh, enough me babbling anyway uh, That's gonna be it for now guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode Bye-bye <laughs>